told me you said we have very bad news and you kept silent for a long time and i asked you mr president is, is something is there anything wrong you said yes we have just lost our cdf general Gola in an aircraft crash and this is terrible and i have stayed with you for many years and i can testify to the people of kenya that if there's one happening that really brought our president down emotionally was the death of general gola and i your excellency yesterday as we visited the home of general gola I was very elated because of a decision you made last year. When we had a walking tour in Nyanza, you told us that General Ogola is a very likable person. He has brought value to your government, and you felt that we needed to know his home and go and visit his family. And we did go to Siaya. And Mrs. Ogola treated us to a sumptuous meal for dinner. We had great conversation with the family, with the Joel, and the mother, and the general. And yesterday, as we went to the home, we did not meet strangers. We found people that we had met. Mrs. Ogola, the son Joel. And as we go to bury him tomorrow in Siaya, we are also not going to, home, to a home that we did not know. We are going to a home that we have been to. And it just ignited my imagination that probably, Your Excellency, it may be time that we create time the way you did that day as we work to get time to know the families of those who work under us when they are still serving. I think it's about time. With those uh, very many remarks, I asked the KDA family to listen to the son of the general. Let the death of General Gola, who died while serving, strengthen your resolve to protect our borders, to keep peace in our country. Though we appreciate the general died in duty, it would have been acceptable if he was pursuing the enemies of this country from other countries. But it is tragic that he died while trying to settle challenges caused by our very people here in Kenya. And I think his death should strengthen the resolve of our forces and our security agencies to wipe out the budgetary menace in this country once and for all. That would be a great honor to this hero. With those many remarks, let me request you to be upstanding as I invite the President and Commander-in-Chief to come and honor his general and speak to the nation, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Please, let's take our seats. Mama Eileen Ogola and your family, our religious leaders, colleagues, leaders present, VCDF and the military fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. On Thursday, April 18, 2024, General Francis Ogola, the chief of the Defense Forces, along with 11 others, including the crew, departed Nairobi County to visit troops operating under Operation Maliza Ualifu and to inspect ongoing rehabilitation of schools program in the North Rift. By midday, the CDF and his entourage had traversed Baringo County, Turkana County, 
El Gayo Marquette County, destined for Wasingi 